Hi everyone, it's Silicone Baby. And I thought this would be an awesome opportunity to show you all the love around me. It's Valentine's Day, so this is appropriate for today. This is my pacifier. These are all of my pacifiers. All the ones that is all the ones that are in my collection. The ones that are for sale are not in this video because this is simply my collection. And the ones that I'm selling, I don't plan on keeping, obviously. So I'm just going to pan around and show you everything surrounding me. There's my little Scarlet. I was in the process of um, photographing my pacifier collection again because I did that probably about a year ago. It takes forever to do. It takes um, days, like up to a week, depending on how long I can work at it at a time. But for now, like today, since it's an absolutely gorgeous day, it's nice and cool and somewhat it was warm a little bit today, but probably in the high 60s or so, very breezy. But I have everything, you know, sectioned out according to the brand. And also, I also have different categories uh, depending on the nipple material because the latex needs to stay away from the silicone over here. If you don't know the difference between latex and silicone, because I'm sure there's a lot of new people who don't know about the different materials, um, this is latex. It's more of a rubbery consistency, and it has a really strong rubber band smell. Yeah, rubber band. That's what that what that is, and it stinks. I can't stand rubber bands. I don't like touching them. Ugh. But um. I love the pacifiers. I mean, like, the best pacifiers that I probably have are the latex ones, meaning the shield and the design part, because they're not very, they're not very, um, common, like the designs and stuff, and these, a lot of these are vintage and older. You can buy them, um, like sometimes on eBay, or sometimes I'll go to some of my suppliers, like who I've you know, found on eBay or whatever over the years, and they have like latex, and I really do not care if I get latex or silicone. However, I was going to show you, this is the silicone, the, you know, the typical pacifiers that you'll find in store. Again, one day I'll go over the different nipple shapes. Um, this is called a cherry teat, cherry nipple, and it's, I guess, because it's got a little bulb here, it's shaped like a little cherry on the end, and uh, this is just the regular orthodontic thumb pacifier. It's flat on one end. These aren't my favorite. These are probably my least favorite shape. They're not as easy to put in the baby's mouth, and uh, these are kind of fun for like McCrory babies because they have they fit really nice and they don't come out. They don't fall out because McCrory dolls have kind of a large mouth. Oh, also Lorna Miller Sands, the babies that I have of hers, they're kind of big mouthed. So um, those are kind of fun to use in those. Now I'm in process of taking photos of, like I said, my collection and my different, you know, different pacifiers like in sections and stuff and these are some more that I'll be adding to my Facebook I um, a lot of these are international so they are not cheap they in fact to you they will be cheap and when I say cheap I mean not really cheap but I mean a lot cheaper than what I bought them for because a lot of these I got either Internationally, I bought, I buy, like, I'll kind of give you an example. Okay, this one is a, a BB. It, they only sell these in Germany or the Netherlands, or, you know, places like that, Holland. And I got two of those um, different times and ended up with, with doubles. So that's the only reason I'm selling any of them. 
because I needed to make some money back on the ones that I had doubled up because I don't really need doubles. I'm not going to be cutting any more, like modifying any. There's no way I'm going to be cutting my pacifiers when I spend good money on them. And I use them simply for collecting. And then I have plenty here that I can use, you know, for the silicones. And then I also have my modified ones, which are right here. I've got, if you can see this drawer here, this is one of those skinny drawers, the the narrow ones with the and the the skinny depth ones, not depth, the skinny uh, height ones. And these are all magnetized. I don't know, all magnetized. They're all modified, so I could put a um, magnet on the ones that don't have one. But I'm not gonna cut any more. These are already cut, and some of them, you know, are. They were sent to me like that, like I either bought them that way or they came that way. But I can just stick a magnet on there. I'm not going to waste cutting any of my other collection. And I'm not going to keep the doubles just to do that because a lot of you can enjoy these for your collection or for your Reborns. But you know me, I'm silicone baby. I like my silicones. Um, and I like using the pacifiers for the silicones more than for the Reborns. Although it's, it is fun with the magnets. I was kind of obsessed with magnets at first like I really enjoyed making the pacifiers but now you know I have a ton of magnets I just I don't really feel like making them also bottles I have a ton of bottles that I have made with um fake formula and sealant I just really don't enjoy doing that I'd much rather spend my time fiddling through my pacifiers and playing with the babies and making videos for y'all. Although I have been requested to make um, how to make fake formula bottles, which I'll do that. I can do another one of those again. And I've got so many videos planned and I've got some that I need to upload that have already been recorded. So I'm so glad that y'all are tuning in today and having a wonderful Valentine's, let's hope. And enjoy your evening and I'm sure this will not be up before you go eat or whatever you're going to do for Valentine's evening. But enjoy it and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much from Silly Cone Baby family. I hope everyone's having a beautiful day. There's Banjo out there. Here's my baby. My baby Banjo. Hi baby love.